We got a good crew today. <clears throat> Alright, we ready? Alright. Appreciate you guys being here. You guys actually stayed the whole day today. Flynn, good job. So, uh, no, it's good to be back out here. Uh, really kind of start to put together all the work we've been doing in the summer and really, you know what the first day does, gives you a baseline of where you're at uh, in relation to the last practices of spring. So we have a chance to come out here and really get this evaluated, uh, be critical. It's like I told the team, I said, you know, really our number one uh, goal for this camp is to establish our identity, establish who we are as a football team. And that's what we've got to come out of this camp with, is a true identity, um, what we hang our hat on, not play-wise, not scheme-wise, uh, but really just a mentality as a football team. Uh, you know, and practice is going to be hard. We know camp is it's a grind, it's tough, uh, you know, but that, that's, that's part of it. And, you know, well, why do we have to do it like this? Why do we have to do it like this? Well, just it's, it's because it's the way we play the game. When we play the game that way. It's a physical game. Uh, it's a tough game. Uh, you have to be disciplined and you have to be able to overcome the elements. Uh, you know, second game we have of the year, it's at one o'clock in the afternoon. So really no different the way we're practicing right now. So we've got to get accustomed to it, got to get used to it. Uh, you know, make sure we're taking care of our bodies all day and, and throughout the uh, 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 throughout the rest of the rest of the evening today and get ready to go again tomorrow. So, uh, again, excited to be out here. Glad you guys were able to come out and uh, see a little bit today and uh, uh, excited to move forward. So with that, open up with any questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand so we can get you a uh, microphone. Coach, it seems like you're relatively healthy from where you came out of the spring until this. Just how important, I guess, has that been? And does that speak to maybe your strength and conditioning program and being successful with summer? Yeah, it does. It's, it you know it speaks to AJ and his staff and what they've done, but also to the credit to the players and uh, the way they've come out in the summer and and, 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 and attacked it. Because uh, you could you could kind of slop through and, and and go half half in uh, in the summer, and you're not going to have that that baseline of health uh, that you need. So, you know, we've got a couple guys that, that are out and going to be out as we all know. Leo, Juju, uh, Bryson Dixon. Uh, it's good to see James Blackstrain back out there today. Starting to move around a little bit. Still no contact, but uh, you know, getting back moving in the groove. So it's good to see him out there. Uh, so yeah, we're relatively healthy, uh, and hopefully stay that way moving forward. Thanks, Rob. Coach, when you're talking about the conditioning program this summer, uh, how did you see the team perform towards the end of practice? I mean, pushing through the heat and that type of thing. Yeah, and we're, I mean, it was actually pretty cool out there today compared to uh, you know what it's been in, you know the past couple of weeks. So you know, you look at me, it's going down into the 60s at night, you know, cooling off at night, and so it, it was there was some adversity, a little bit of adversity, but nothing like you know we'll see here in the next couple of weeks. But uh, we, we've got to continue and improve. We got to you know we, we've got to understand that everything we do throughout the day affects the way we practice. Uh, it's not just you know coming out and being all excited you know when flex walkthroughs and flex starts and then not being able to uh, sustain the rest of practice and that that's that's what you're doing in the morning how you're taking care of your body how you're f fueling yourself uh the hydration you know uh aaron leah they're doing a great job of making sure the guys have everything they need uh for nutrition and we got to make sure our guys are, are doing it because you, know, you talk about mental toughness and, and, and mental discipline it's easy to walk around with a water jug and, and take a few sips every now and then but it's a lot tougher to you know, slam gallons upon gallons of water down, you know, all day long and eating fruit and, you know, eating the right things. Right, right behind you, Rick. Oh. There you go. Coach, you, uh, you touched on conditioning and discipline, but uh, you guys are out there for a good amount of time today. So what other takeaways do you have based on, you know, the expectations you've set and you laid out kind of in the opening statement? You know, what, what takeaways based on that you see do you, do you take away from that? Yeah, you know, really first practice, making sure the organization, uh, things are set up right, the kids know where to go, the coaches know where to go so they can tell the players, uh, you know, the, the, being able to sustain through the, the, the drills. You know, we're doing a lot of two-spot things right now, so we're getting double the amount of team reps out there, which is really good. You, know, you, you, learn, you learn by going out there and doing it, and, and that's what we're, you know, you're standing on the side watching, you know, you don't get the experience that you need, and we've got to develop a lot of young players, and uh, we're going to push through these first uh, few days and see how far we can push through with uh, doing the, the two-spot drills and uh, getting the most out of the practice. So, you know, all those things are things I've got, you know, pages of notes. We'll go back and sit down as a staff and go through those things and watch the practice together and get ready to get one tonight, get it cleaned up. And, and really the way I look at it is you know, the way we practice, the way we start off in the mornings, we meet, walkthroughs, uh, then practice, clean it up at night. Really, I, I want to walk out of there tonight, and this day is complete. You know, it's put to bed. Mistakes are all cleaned up. We're ready to start a new, fresh day tomorrow. Thanks, Chad. I didn't watch him. 
Yeah, yeah not at all. Why was that? I'll watch him on tape. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, in, with the quarterback situation, we, we have a, we have a great battle. We have three guys that have college experience, uh, college game experience, big time game experience. So probably as fortunate as any team in the country right now when it comes to the depth we have at that position. Uh, you know, right now it's a lot of installation, you know, routes on air, those things, getting timing with the different receivers. We've got a young uh, group of receivers and some you know, and new receivers, so, you know, getting down the timing, you know, like, I, like I've said before, you know, it's different once you put the helmets on, you put the cleats on, you're out there running around, you know, as opposed to in the summer with, you know, just doing seven on sevens, uh, you, know, with, you know, shirts and skins. So, uh, you know, every day is an evaluation for those guys, everything they do, uh, you know, how they lead the team in the, in the team periods, you know, how they're getting on and off the field how they're transitioning from one play to the other, you know, executing tempo within it. So all those things will continue to be evaluated. We've got a really good, uh, we've got a good thing to have right now, and that's experience there. And, uh, you know, that's the, probably the same answer I'll give for the next three weeks. So, uh, and just, you know, with that, that that's, it is, that's what it is. And don't plan on an announcement coming anytime soon. Uh, don't be surprised if we fi all find out the, the night of the Louisville game. Eric? Coach, you mentioned uh, a lot of the newcomers at wide receiver, Singleton, a lot of the other young guys in uh, some place today. Just... Yeah, you know, it's it, it, we've got some older guys in the group that have been around but haven't played a whole lot, uh, and then we've got an influx of you know, few, you know some transfers coming in, some young guys, uh, and that position is a position of of, uh, of durability, really. You know, when, when you're practicing in the summer and you're running the way those guys do. You know, you know, a lot of those guys come in, the, the high school kids, they've run track and they've done all these things. And they still don't prepare you for coming out here the first day of a you know, lengthy practice that you have and uh, the, the amount of, you know, the reps and the, the, the wear and tear that, that's on your body. And they'll learn pretty quickly, you know, how to take care of themselves and be able to recover and get back ready for the next day. But, you know, the big thing you notice is we've got, you know, we've got some guys that can run out there. We've got some guys with some speed and, you know, and uh, what I want to see is once we do get, you know, the pads on and we start, you know, doing some live segments, who's going to be able to break somebody down one-on-one -on -one and, and, and turn a short play into a big play? Kelly? Okay. There's a lot of publicity for transfer portal guys and guys you signed out of high school, but I think you had a 19 walk-on. The walk-on program here has just traditionally been successful and you guys have had some success in building scholarship guys out of walk-ons. Can you kind of talk about just how you build that that up and kind of what those guys mean, especially their camp? Yeah, that, I mean, you know, the ACC had a uh, passed a waiver for to allow us to go to 120 uh, in camp, which is a big difference, you know, from the 110. Those 10 extra guys you have in camp make a big difference when it comes to leg comes to legs and allowing us to be able to do two spot drills. Uh, but, you know, when, when we when I was hired, that was something I wanted to make sure that we uh, elevated was our was our walk on program, our preferred walk on program. Uh, we wanted to make sure we had some really a group of quality guys uh, that you know not only would be able to be a part of the team and, and work the way in, but would have a chance to, to work themselves into playing positions. And really, a lot of that credit goes to, to Coach McFarlane. That's something when he came in that me and him had long conversations about. And I wanted him to take over and be a part of it, you know, really uh, head that thing up as the, the, the walk home program. And just with, you know, with his relationships within, within the state, uh, with, with high school coaches, and, and the trust that he has among those guys to go to get those guys to come in here and, and be a part of the football team. You know, really, really looking forward to those guys in their future. Right. You talked about the new faces on, at wide receiver on defense. I guess the same is true with the linebacker position. How have they adapted to what Coach Thacker and Coach Shearer are trying to do there? Yeah, you know, it's a. You know, it, they, they've had the reps all summer, you know, so that, that's that's a, a really good thing uh, to get those guys. Uh, you know, we're really going to go as that group goes on defense, and you know, the it doesn't matter how many play calls you have, how many schemes you have, it's the ability to go execute those things and get those guys to play, and that's what we're trying to find now is uh, those guys can go out and execute and you know, get the defense set the right way. Uh, you know, first day it's really tough to tell from that position because not only are you, do you not have pads on, but you know, there's not a lot of multiples on offense that they're having to adjust to and get the defense aligned to. So and that'll really start to uh, tell itself as we move on through practice. Uh, but it's not just the linebacker spot. I mean, you know, you know, Eddie Kelly's a guy that, that jumped out a couple times today, uh, maybe on, on, on the D-line. Uh, you know, two of the young guys that have been around for a year or two, you know, Horace and Zeke, both, you know, just look totally different uh, out here. You know, AJ's done a great job with those guys. Getting Now we got to get them in shape to be able to play consistently. And then some of the guys on the back end, I mean, you have the guys that have been around that everyone knows about, but then you know, Omar had a, uh, did a good job. 
uh, flashed a few times, and Mari Harvey a couple times, you know, flashed doing some things. You know, excited to see what Rodney Shelley's going to be able to do uh, out there uh, working with the defense as well. Time for a couple more from Coach. Anything else? Jackson. Uh, Coach, really? I could care less. <laughs> they could care less. I could care less. Games are played on the field, so I know that's uh, it, it's that time of year where everyone gets excited to to see the rankings and see those things and, and be able to uh, you know, have a lot of good talking points for the next three or four weeks. And that's what makes college football special. It is. It's 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 the passion around it. It's the passion of people that that cover it. It's the passion of you guys and the jobs that y'all do uh, to be able to to get the information to put those things together. And um, you know. It means nothing to me, uh, you know. If I wasn't coaching them, I'd be I'd be right there with you guys, you know, reading them all and making the predictions and doing all those things. And uh, but but not for us. That that that's nothing. That you know, those external uh, things have zero factor on how we come out and practice every day. Jack, you want to wrap us up? You good, Kelly? You want to wrap us up? Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Um, you know, offensive line depth has been kind of a concern uh, the last few years. And it seems like now you have both. Some depth and also ability with flexibility to move guys like Jordan Williams and plays that are outside. Yeah. How much does that change, I guess, what you're able to do in practice and also just how do you kind of work those reps with those guys? Is that more for deep and just kind of how do you work that? No, it's, 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 uh, it's premeditated. You know, every day we, we, have a, we have a list, we have a depth of how we're going to rotate those guys, how we're going to roll those guys, how we're going to get them multiple reps. We do it a lot of indie periods and group periods where they have a chance to uh, work at different spots. Um, you know, right now, it's just kind of getting people comfortable and used to the, the you know, playing next to each other. And then as days go on, we'll continue to move people around and develop that depth. And, uh, you know, we do, if, you know, if you could have, you know, you start to get to the point where you have eight guys, nine guys that you're comfortable, you know, putting in the, in, in the game. Uh, now you're up, you know, some of the upper, you know, groups in the country as far as the depth goes. And at that position, that's what it's about. You know, you got your first five, they're going to trot out there the first game, but you know, the depth that's behind them is what's important. It really is. That's, you know, because not only does it replace when they get hurt, that's who's pushing those guys. You know, when you've got people behind you that, that are pushing you. I mean, just look at, you know, for example, Corey Robinson. Look at the transformation he's made in himself. You know, he, I mean, he looks totally different than he did even in spring practice. And, and that's because there's other people there. I mean, there's people pushing. You know, there, there's, no, there's no one comfortable in any positions out there. And that's what we want to make sure happens. Thank you, Coach. Is that it? Yeah. Go Jackets. All right, perfect. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you guys.